Big wheels rolling, moving on. Big wheels rolling. I gotta keep them going. Big... Oh, good morning, everybody. Top of the morning. Well, 9.25 in the morning. November 15th. It's Tuesday. We're leaving the Freightliner right now. We parked here last night because they kept me too long and I just could not go nowhere. I, I told them that and they said, well, you know, just go down to the bottom part of the lot, which you can see what it is. Rough parking lot, right? But they said you can go down there and park and spend as long as you need. Now we're on our way to, uh, we gotta go back to Creek. We gotta go pick up that wagon. See, that load was supposed to deliver between 1 a.m. and 8 a.m. this morning, but obviously we couldn't do it. Now I just gotta remember how in the heck I got in here. Oh, I think that's it right there. But we got a brand new reservoir. It looks pretty. We should have no more problems with our radiator and any part of it leaking. That's good because I, you know, that gets old when you gotta lift your hood up every day and put something in that radiator because you got that little sensor that is telling you it's going to shut your truck off because it's too low right it got to the point where i gave up putting antifreeze in it i i, I would just put water in it and i told them that here i said feet, you know turn right on north 56th street i said i got water in that antifreeze i don't know how much but i don't know how how well protected my truck is well, they made it right. They made sure it's it's good for 32 below zero. I <laughs> I really doubt if I'm ever gonna run into something like that, but never know, right? My friend Scotty Wise wrote me this morning and told me that you know there's gonna be a blizzard making uh, happening uh, around. Uh, The uh, Dakotas going up into Canada. Uh, in Winnipeg. A mile, take the entrance to the left on I 80 West. And even Scotty said up there where he's at, it is possible eight, I think he said eight to nine inches or something like that. Well, I'm going up there on Thanksgiving. I told him, I said, I hope it kind of clears up a tiny bit. I was kind of joking with him about the snow, you know, but. But I kind of hoping it clears up a little bit by the time I get up there. I gotta go toward Grant Island. In 700 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-80 West. They did, or they were able to pick up a code off my motor, and it has to do with DEF. If you guys know anything about these DEF filters, we're talking a $4,000 job, or a $4,000 part, or whatever you want to call it. But he said it was given the reading, because I got an engine light on I said, well, you know, it's not really telling me that it's messing up as far as uh, it's still regioning and everything. But he's telling me it is giving a code for that. So later in the future, it looks like I may have to replace that, uh, that filter. When that happens, I want to pay cash. I don't want that coming out of my company because... It just seems like it takes forever to pay off a debt with them, you know? 
continue on this road for 17 miles. Well, we're Bob Kalen. It does make it easy to get up to speed.
for him. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back. Well, we're gonna go over here to Shoemakers again. We were over here the other day, remember? We had to send off some UPS. Uh, we gotta weigh my load now. Cause just on the other side of Waverly, there's the uh, Lincoln Skills, or the Skills is there. I want to make sure I'm not too fat Make here. a U-turn if possible, and then turn right in 400 feet. Construction ahead. Well, well uh, I'm gonna talk to the person here on the on the scale for a second. One second. Make sure I'm not too fat. Uh, first one. Truck number. Uh, five three zero. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, guys, at least she said thank you, right? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go in and get our weight ticket. We'll be right back. Well, guys, sorry for the. Uh, I know it was daytime. We were running. Now it's night. Um, so let me bring you guys up to par it, it will be kind of a short video but we didn't really do too much today we just really we just basically drove um, and we only had 399 miles with the load uh, we, we did pick up the load obviously and we're in Dubuque right now Dubuque uh, Iowa and we just made our delivery now we're headed to a truck stop in 700 feet, turn left on Locust Street, and then turn left in 650 feet. Okay. This is Locust. This is Locust. This is Locust. We're in downtown Dubuque. If, I don't know if you can see it over there or not, but if you look to, to the right, You'll see the sign that says Dubuque. Just trying to back evenly beside another truck that don't have these parking lights on. Sometimes they can be challenging. Because I'm backing into the dark, right? <laughs> I gotta fill my Honda up. So I don't have to idle my truck tonight. I'm not idling no more. Nope. I'm not going to idle no more. Alright. Now, we're going to do one more pull up because I want to be more square. Because there's room for another truck beside me. If I do this. I don't want to be a, a hog. I hate somebody who takes up two spots. They just don't have respect for their fellow driver out here. Thank you for riding along with the trucker jukebox. Kind of a short day, though. But we appreciate you guys. And I want to thank you for chiming. So with that being said, God bless. Good night. There'll be another day tomorrow. That I promise. We'll talk to you guys then. Later.